Hello YouTubers and welcome to the Rodney1279 channel on this March 11th day of 2014 and before I start with my Bible reading I have a user that suggested to me that uh, he wanted me to play Mario Party 2 for the uh, Nintendo 64 and I, what I gotta say to that is I'll see what I can do. I won't do it this week because you as you know, as I mentioned in the videos, I'm on a Lent break from doing video games except for Sunday. So, if this game is not a long game on Sunday, because I'll do an off-camera game, Joe Mar, then I'll do a um, uh, uh, your request. Okay? Because my camera battery only goes up to three hours. So, I have to consider that too. But I'll see what I can do. Alright, let me uh, go ahead and uh, pray. Father God, thank you for allowing me to get into the scripture on today. Give me the strength to hear your will. Give me the guidance to live by your will on a daily basis, Father God, as I'm on the sixth day of this Lent. Give me the strength to hear your will. Give me the guidance to understand your will and get through this Lent season in the name of Jesus. Now, Father God, as we get ready to go forth into your scriptures, let us hear your word. Let us have guidance in your word and let us meditate on your word. We pray this prayer now it is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alrighty. Now we're going to finish the book of Numbers today. And we're going to do chapters 34 to 36 in Numbers, obviously. And the first uh, parable we're going to read is Boundaries of the Land. Boundaries of the Land. Numbers, the 34th chapter, verses 1 through 15. Boundaries of the Land. Numbers 34, verses 1 through 15. And here's the reading of God's holy word. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Command the children of Israel, and say to them, When you come into the land of Canaan, this is the land that shall fall to you as an inheritance. The land of Canaan to its boundaries your southern border shall be from the wilderness of Zan along the border of Edom. Then your southern border shall extend eastward to the end of the salt sea. Your border shall turn from the southern side of the accent of Akrabim, continue to Zen, and be on the south of Kadesh Barnea. Then then it shall go on to Hazar Adder and continue to Asmon. The border shall turn from Asmon to the brook of Egypt, and it shall end at the sea. As for, as for the western border, you shall have the great sea for a border. This shall be your western border, and this, and this shall be your northern border. From, from the great sea, you shall mark out your borderline to, mark, to Mount Hor. From Mount Hor, you shall mark out your border to the entrance of Hamath. Then the direction of the border shall be toward Zedad. The border shall proceed to Zephron, and it shall end at Hazar Enan. This shall be your northern border. You shall mark out your eastern border from Hazar Enan to Shepham. The border shall go down from Shepham to Ribla on the east side of Ain. The border shall go down and reach to the eastern side of the Sea of Shinnereth. The border, the border shall go down along the Jordan, and and it shall end. It shall end at the Salt Sea. This shall, this shall be your land with its surrounding boundaries. Then Moses, then Moses commanded the children of Israel, saying, This is the land which you shall inherit by lot, which the Lord, which the Lord has commanded to give to the nine tribes uh, and to the half tribe. For the tribe, for the tribe of the children of Reuben, according to the house of their fathers, and the tribe of, of the children of Gad, according to the house of their fathers, have received their inheritance 
and the half tribe, the half tribe of Manasseh, have received its inheritance. The two tribes, the two tribes and the half tribe, have received their inheritance on this side of the Jordan, across across from Jericho eastward, toward the sunrise. Leaders to divide the land. Leaders to divide the land. Numbers, Numbers the 34th chapter, verses 16 through 29. Leaders to divide the land. Numbers the 34th chapter, verses 16 through 29. And the Lord, and the Lord spoke to Moses saying, these, these are the names of the men who shall divide the land among you as an inheritance. Eliezer, the priest, and Joshua, the son of Nun. And you shall take one leader of every tribe to divide the land for the inheritance. These, these are the names of the men from the, from the tribe of Judah, Caleb, the son of Jephuniah, from the tribe, from the tribe of the children of Simeon, Shemuel, the son, Shemuel, the son of Amahud, from the tribe, from the tribe of Benjamin, Eldadad, the son of Chislon, a leader, a leader from the tribe of the children of Dan, Bukai, the son of Jogli, from the sons, from the sons of Joseph, a leader from the tribe of the children of Manasseh, Hanuel, Hanuel the son of Ephod, and a leader, and a leader from the tribe of the children of Ephraim, Kimuel, Kimuel the son of Shephtan, a leader, a leader from the tribe of the children of the children of Zebulon, Elizaphan, Elizaphan the son, the son of Parnak, a leader, a leader from the tribe of the children of Ishakar. Paltiel, Paltiel, the son of Azan, a leader, a leader from the tribe of the children of Asher. Ahihud, the son of Shelomoni, a leader, and a leader from the tribe of the children of the children of Naphtali. Pedahel, the son of Amahud, these are the these are the ones the Lord the Lord commanded to divide to divide the inheritance to divide the inheritance among the children among the children of Israel in the land of Canaan. Towns for the Levites. Towns for the Levites. Numbers the thirty fifth chapter verses one through eight. Towns for the Levites, Numbers the thirty-fifth chapter, verses one through eight. And the Lord, and the Lord spoke to Moses, and the Lord spoke to Moses in the plains, in the plains of Moab, by the Jordan, by the Jordan across from Jericho, saying, Command the children, command the children of Israel that they, that they give, that they give the Levites, and they give the Levites cities. Cities to dwell in from the inheritance, from the inheritance of their possession, and you shall, and you shall also give the Levites. You shall also give the Levites common, common land around the cities. They shall, they shall have the cities to dwell in, and their common, and their common land shall be for their cattle, for their herds, and for all their animals. The common land of the cities which you will give the Levites shall extend from the wall of the city outward a thousand cubits all around, and you and you shall measure outside the city on the east side two thousand cubits, on the south side two thousand cubits, on the west side two thousand cubits, and on the north side two thousand cubits. The city, the city shall be in the middle. This shall, this shall belong to them as common land for the cities. Now among, now among the cities which you, which you will give to the Levites, you shall, 
you shall appoint, you shall appoint six cities of refuge to which to which a manslayer may flee. And to these and to these you shall add forty two cities. So all the cities so all the cities you will give to the Levites shall be shall be forty eight. These these you shall give with their common land. And the cities and the cities which you will give shall be from the possession of the children of Israel. From the larger from the larger tribe you shall give many. From the smaller you shall give few. Each shall give some of his cities to the Levites in proportion to the inheritance that each receives. Okay, now next parable is the cities of refuge. The cities of refuge. The book of Numbers, the 35th chapter, verses 9 through 34. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, and say to them, When you cross the Jordan into the land of Canaan, then you shall appoint cities to be cities of refuge for you, that the man that the manslayer who kills any person accidentally may flee there. They shall, they shall be cities of refuge for you from the avenger, that the manslayer, that the manslayer may not die until he stands before the congregation in judgment. And of the cities, and of the cities which you give, you shall have. You shall have six cities of refuge. You shall appoint three cities on this side of the Jordan, and three cities you shall appoint in the land of Canaan, which will be cities of refuge. These six cities shall be for refuge for the children of Israel, for the stranger and for the sojourner among them. That anyone who kills a person accidentally may flee there. But if he strikes him with an iron implement so that he dies, he is a murderer. The murderer shall surely be put to death. And if he strikes him with a stone in the land, excuse me, in the, in the hand, by which one could die, and he does die, he is a murderer. The murderer, the murderer shall surely be put to death. Or if he, or if he strikes him with a wooden hand weapon by which by which one could die, and he does die, and he does die, he is a murderer. The murderer, the murderer shall surely be put to death. The avenger, the avenger of blood himself shall put the murderer to death when he meets him. He shall put him to death. If he pushes him out of hatred or while lying in wait, hurls something at him so that he dies, or in enmity, he strikes him with his hand so that he dies, the one who struck him shall surely be put to death. He is a murderer. The avenger of blood shall put the murderer to death when he meets him. However, if he pushes him suddenly without enmity or throws anything at him without lying in wait or uses a stone by which a man could die, throwing it at him without seeing him so that he dies while he was not his enemy or seeking his harm, then the congregation shall judge between the manslayer and the avenger of blood according to these judgments. So the congregation shall deliver the manslayer from the hand of the avenger of blood, and the congregation shall return him to the city of refuge where he had fled, and he shall remain there until the death of the high priest who was anointed with the holy oil. But if the man, but the manslayer at any time goes outside the limits of the city of refuge where he fled and the avenger of blood finds him outside the limits of his city of refuge and the avenger of blood kills the manslayer he shall not be guilty of blood because he should have remained in his city a refuge until the death of the high priest but after the death of the high priest 
the manslayer may return to the land of his possession. And these things shall be a statute of judgment to you throughout your generations and all your dwellings. Whoever kills a person, the murderer shall be put to death on the testimony of witnesses. But one witness is not sufficient testimony against a person for the death penalty. Moreover, you shall take no ransom for the life of a murderer who is guilty of death, but he shall surely be put to death. And you shall take no ransom for him who has fled to his city of refuge, that he may return to dwell in the land before the death of the priest. So you shall not pollute the land where you are, for blood defiles the land, and no atonement can be made for the land. For the blood that is shed on it, except by the blood of him who shed it. Therefore do not, therefore do not defile the land which you inhabit, in the midst of which I dwell. For I, for I the Lord dwell among the children of Israel. Okay, last chapter. We're going to read Women Who Inherit Property. Women Who Inherit Property. This is Numbers 36 chapter verses 1 through 13. Women who inherit property. Now the chief fathers of the families of the children of Gilead, the son of Maker, the son of Manasseh, of the families of the sons of Joseph, came near and spoke before Moses and before the leaders, the chief fathers of the children of Israel, and they said, and they said, the, children, the Lord, the Lord commanded, the Lord commanded my Lord Moses to give the land as an inheritance by lot to the children of Israel. And my Lord was commanded by the Lord to give the inheritance of our brother Zelophehad to his daughters. Now, if they are married to any of the sons of the other tribes of the children of Israel, then their inheritance will be taken from the inheritance of our fathers, and it will be added to the inheritance of the tribe into which they marry. So it will be taken from the lot of our inheritance. And when the Jubilee of the children of Israel comes, then their inheritance will be added to the inheritance of the tribe into which they marry. So their inheritance, so their inheritance will be taken away, taken away from the inheritance of the tribe of our fathers. Then Moses, then Moses commanded, commanded the children of Israel according, according to the word of the Lord, saying, What the tribe what the tribe of the sons of Joseph speak is right. This is what this is what the Lord commands concerning the daughters of Zelophehad, saying, Let them marry whom they think best, but they but they may marry only within the family of their father's tribe. So the inheritance so the inheritance of the children of Israel shall not change hands from tribe to tribe. For every one of the children of Israel shall keep the inheritance of the tribe of his fathers, and every daughter who possesses an inheritance in any tribe of the children of Israel shall be the wife of one of the family of her father's tribe, so that the children, so that the children of Israel each may possess each may possess the inheritance of the of his fathers. Thus, thus no inheritance shall change hands from one tribe to another but every tribe but every tribe of the children of Israel shall keep its own inheritance just as the lord just as the lord commanded moses so did so did the children so did the children of the lofahat for Mala, tirza hagla milka and noah the daughters of the lofahat were married to the sons of their fathers brothers they were married into the families, into the families of the children of Manasseh, the son of Joseph, and their and the inheritance, and their inheritance remained in the tribe of their father's family. These are the commandments and the judgments which the Lord commanded the children of Israel by the hand of Moses in the plains of Moab by the Jordan, across from Jericho. Father God, thank you for allowing us to get into this word on today. 
Give us the strength to hear your will and give us the guidance to live by your will on a daily basis. Now, Father God, as we get ready to go on with our day, God, give us the strength to live by your will and meditate on your word day and night and night and day. And we pray this prayer now. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, guys, join us tomorrow as we do another Bible reading on tomorrow. Take care, everybody. Be safe and be careful and take care, everybody. Stay blessed. Goodbye. <laughs>